it's also much clearer as a reader. So to the extent that it's been adopted by those practitioners who appear before the appellate courts, the trial courts, or regulatory bodies in Alaska, I think we all are happy we are on the cutting edge. It is interesting that some states like Alaska and Delaware, the judges pretty much across the board have no problem adopting this convention of putting citations in footnotes. But in other states, uh, it doesn't have the same um, the same result that people actually carry through with it. Uh, do you have any idea what explains the difference in a place like Alaska? Why everyone was so willing to go ahead and carry through with the, the change of putting citations in footnotes? In, in frontier countries, you, you tend to be more receptive to ideas. Besides, in Alaska, if you save time putting a footnote at the, bo at the bottom of the page as opposed to the text, it gives you more time to in, in, enjoy what the state has to offer or time to chop firewood if you need to be warm in the winter. No, I have absolutely no idea why, 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 it's, uh, why it has been adopted in Alaska. Uh, I, I think lawyers can be hidebound, and uh, despite the convenience of word processors uh, and, and, and the tools that, that allow you to insert uh, footnote text when you're working in Word or WordPerfect, uh, I suspect that what uh, that I believe it was Judge Posner said, habit uh, seems to be the reason. I I, I predict it will come. I, I I suspect you will see in in ten to twelve years a majority of the courts will have gone to that because courts have less and less time. And courts are not are, are finding themselves chastised for lack of clarity, and readability is a function that is akin to clarity of thought.